you are at Costco right now, I'm gonna show you guys some of the best practices to pick up the best olive oil here. Olive oil can be some of the most adulterated food products in the food industry, basically modify the different properties of the food ingredient. This could be either for economic advantage, coloring, appearance, taste aspect, weight, volume, shelf life. Sometimes the olive oil can also be cut with lesser expensive oils like soybean oil or canola oil as well. As a side note, sometimes they might try to add chlorophyll for coloring, beta carotene to actually disguise the smell so that can also throw you off a little bit as well. One of the biggest keys is you don't want the olive oil to be picked and processed right away. And then sometimes the bigger companies collect and transport the olives to a plant for manufacturing. So there's multiple people coming in between manufacturing process and the plants or fields. Because of that whole process, the olives may actually ripen a little faster or mold a little bit quicker because it says extra virgin olive oil or 100% imported from Italy or even from Italy. It might just not be 100% olive oil. So these are some items of what I avoid and what I buy. If you're in a calorie deficit, you also want to just be completely aware of fats because fats higher in uh, caloric density as well. So what I usually avoid is sometimes the companies might say light olive oil. So light, if it says pure, avoid taking just because a lot of companies blending like low quality oils, soybean oil, a sunflower oil into their regular oils that they were manufacturing. In 2003, where Spanish and Italian investigators ended up seizing over 280 thousand liters of counterfeit olive oil and, and they arrested 11 individuals because of it not something i'm going to choose if you're in a calorie deficit diet always be wary of the calories first and then the quality second but i'm going to show you what i actually buy here at costco so instead of buying something like this, make sure the country's from one origin. So either Spain, Italy, Greece, oil is processed and produced in that specific country. And you'll see on the label, it'll actually have a protective designation of origin, so DOP. So the Kirkland signature, the extra virgin olive oil, here you could see the protection designation of origin. So meaning the name and the logo must be grown and produced and the bottle in the designated area. So because this says Spain, you expect it to be grown and produced in Spain. Came imported from there. There was not that many manufacturing processes in between and they usually have strict requirements they have to meet in those specific countries. The AOC is usually the French version of it. General oils from multiple different countries are more likely to be adulterated than just from one country. Country. In America, they actually have the US certified extra virgin olive oil. It's met both sensory and chemical standards to be sold as extra virgin olive oil. And then there are certifications out there that are less harsh on regulations than others, but ultimately any certification is better than none. Other really important practices when I grab bottles like these, right? Grabbing two for the road. Smell and taste is very important. Usually with real olive oil, it's green, fresh fragrant smell. It's very strong, it's potent. Could also smell like earthy, peppery, grassy smell to it basically really awesome brands I always like to include as well. The California Olive Ranch here, and it says 100% California Olive Ranch. Lucini, I believe, is another good brand here. Always choosing this one. And then this one is specifically, it's 15, 16 per quart. This one is 16.49 here at Costco. And in Trader Joe's, you actually have the oil that's 100% Greek Kamalata, so that's another good pick. For storing, what you wanna do is always avoid heat and you would avoid light. So that can contribute to the degradation of olive oil or any oil in general. The glass is also dark, helps to contribute avoiding the light as well. Wanna grab an awesome olive oil here? I always suggest the Kirkland Extra Virgin Olive Oil. This one's originally from Spain, one origin, has the seal on it. These are 120 calories per serving, so always be careful, especially if you're in a calorie deficit. So we're definitely gonna grab one of these.